Hey guys, welcome to this video and in this video I'm gonna walk you through the Nougat update on OnePlus 3D. So when I unboxed this device it was running on Marshmallow and I had the notification for an update uh, and I was able to download it and then apply it. So right now I'm running Nougat on this OnePlus 3D and this is Oxygen OS version 4.0.2 and this is Android Nougat 7.0. Let's go ahead and confirm it first from the settings. So we go in about phone and here you can see that I'm running Oxygen OS 4.0.2 and the Android version is 7.0. So we have this OnePlus launcher here. It's pretty basic. We get this shelf here. So here you can add widgets. You get this plus button so you can add widgets and recent contacts here. I have that removed. So anyways, it's pretty basic and pretty simple. Long press it to get more options. So from here you can choose more, more wallpapers and you can also you know um, approach your widgets from here so your widgets are there and then you can customize it so you can enable or disable shelf here you can swipe up to access search and you know swipe down to go to quick notifications and then you can also change the icons here so you can have large icons standard icons and small icons so just you know swipe down and it will open up your notification shade swipe up and it will open up the search then we have some other you know screen of gestures here so we can draw a V to turn on the flashlight like this and then we can draw it again to turn it off we can draw an O to turn on the camera and then we can double tap to wake up the screen moving on when you swipe from the down you can you know reveal these notification shortcuts so we have a panel here but you can swipe again to reveal all of the notifications and then you can also edit them to you know add more notifications and once you're done with that you can simply swipe to the left to reveal the rest of the notifications and then we have our you know brightness panel here as well and the notifications are now stacked so you can you know swipe down to reveal you know single notifications from each app and then you can interact with them so you can so for example, if you have messages for multiple contacts, you can swipe down to a particular contact. You can then tap the reply button and reply straight from the notification panel. So we have that as well. Anyways, let's go ahead and take a look at the settings panel now. So you can see that the settings are more like the Google Pixel and stock Android. Um, now we get the same accent colors, we get the same you know style. So we have got some of the information below each heading telling us what it's all about. You know, we also have this drawer that you can swipe from the left to reveal. So you know we get all these settings in this uh, drawer form. But anyways, we have got a Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, SIM and network, data usage. We've got more. So in more, you get your NFC, tap and pay. So it supports Android Pay as well. Then moving on, we have alert slider. So we have settings for alert slider here. So this is the alert slider. So right now this is at ring. And if I just swipe it up, it will go to do not disturb. And then I can go and edit do not disturb settings. So you can set alarms, reminders, events, and favorite contact settings. So you can, you know, fiddle with all these settings and, uh, you know, make it as you're liking. And then we have got silent mode on the top. So we can go right from there and edit the silent mode as well. So that was the alert slider. Let's go back. Then we have got our buttons. So here we get the settings for these buttons, capacitive buttons and this fingerprint button in the center. So this is not really a button. This is just a capacitive key. You can simply tap on it and it works as a home button. It works as a fingerprint scanner. So here you can turn on and off the backlight for these buttons. So there you can see they're turning on now and you can swap the actions for these buttons. So right now this is at a multitasking button and this one is the back and I can simply turn it off to you know put the multitasking here on the right side and back button on the left side. Now you can also turn on the on-screen navigation button here. So we get these on-screen navigation buttons and this is what I like about this device because it gives you the option to either use these capacitive buttons or this you know on-screen navigation bar but I like to use the capacitive buttons it's just how it is I know coming from Samsung I'm used to it anyways and then we have this you know uh, you know shortcut for this um, lock button you can double tap it to launch the camera from anywhere now you also get the option to set the long press action and double tap action for all of these buttons down below. So you can, you know, set long press action to search assistant and you get all these options. You can set it to no action, open close menu, recent search assistant, turn off screen, open camera, voice search, open last used app, open shelf, open close notification center and open close split screen. So you get all of all these options for all the three buttons down below. 
Moving on, we have gestures. So in gestures, we have got some screen of gestures. So you can double tap to wake up the device, draw an O to open the camera, draw a V to toggle the flashlight, and we get music controls as well. And then we get some system gestures as well. So we can, you know, just simply flip the phone to mute the call or alarm or anything. And then we have three fingers screenshot here as well. So swipe with three fingers to take a screenshot. And then we have got status bar settings. So in status bar, you get the option to put um you know which icons you want to show on the status bar and you can also select your battery style so you can go with battery bar or battery circle moving on we have display now in display we have got a lot of options so we have got this adaptive brightness that adjusts the display brightness according to the lighting conditions and then we have a sleep night mode so night mode actually filters the blue light and gives this this dirty yellowish tinge which i really don't like and then we have screen calibration so in screen calibration you can choose the srgb mode or you can customize it according to your needs then we have themes so in themes we have default light and dark themes default is a mixture of light and dark if you go all light it will turn everything light so you know the dark banner on the top becomes white the you know a notification panel becomes all white and if you go dark everything becomes dark and i have to say that i really like the dark mode so everything becomes dark and you know really cool and then you can also choose the accent colors here and i really like it at brown so there is that but i'm gonna go and set it at default for this video and then we can also change the font size so here we can also change the display size so we can increase it to increase the size of everything on the display so you know the icons become bigger the information becomes less so as you go uh, to decrease the screen size more information becomes available on screen and is if you increase it uh, the less information becomes available so you can change that as well i like to keep it at default we also have rotate screen ambient display so ambient display is basically whenever notifications come it will wake up the screen in black and white mode and will show you that and then we have got pr proximity wake up uh, you know display so the display is off if i just move my hand over it it will show me this information in black and white so it's like uh, samsung that you know the screen off display uh, they have it here as well and then we have screen saver so you can set it clock colors photos and timely whatever you want to choose and we also have pulse notification light here and led notifications moving on we have sounds and in sounds you can change the ring volume media alarm volume and everything phone ringtone sms ringtone so you can you know change these ringtones and vibration settings here as well so you can you know fiddle with that if you want then we come to notifications and in notification you can actually you know uh, set the notification of different apps you can choose apps with block notifications notification shown silently no sense no sensitive content on lock screen so uh, you know you can choose apps with these settings and it will give you those apps exactly and then you can also go in settings and from here you can hide the content on the lock screen so it will not show you any content from the notifications on the lock screen if you want to choose that okay in battery we get the you know basic battery settings here we can turn on the battery saver here as well okay so in storage and memory you can check your storage or memory the ram usage and the, you know the storage usage how much is available and then you also can uh, add users to this device so you can add guest users or multiple users so you can create multiple profiles here as well then we have location settings here so pretty basic stuff here you can change the location settings and then we come to security and fingerprint so in here you can add more fingerprints here so simply you know just put your finger here in different uh, directions and it will start registering your fingerprint like this and it will take a bit but once it's registered it works really well and it is really fast and opens device in an instant so there we go we're done let's go ahead and test it so there you go it's really fast and really really fast so you can add up to five fingerprints here and then you can also choose to lock apps with your fingerprints and then more basic settings device administrators unknown sources and stuff like that and we have this phone encrypted so it comes out of box encrypted we also have actually screen pinning here so you can pin screen moving on we have accounts google the basic settings backup and reset and in advanced we have accessibility printing schedule power on and off pocket mode so in pocket mode it if you turn this one on it you know prevents accidental touch screen touches and you know prevents the phone from receiving calls if it's in your pocket accidentally 
so there is that and then we have system updates and about phone so that was the settings review now let's go ahead and take a look at the camera app i'm more excited about this one so it's more in line with the stock android now you get this option for time lapse slow motion photo video manual and panorama mode so basic stuff we have hdr hq and flash on the top and you can swipe to you know toggle between video mode and photo mode and then you get settings here so you can go to 4x3 16 by 9 and 1 by 1 so there is that we have timer here 3 seconds 5 seconds 10 seconds and then you can turn on these grid lines and you can also turn on the front camera here so basic stuff the camera is fast actually it takes photos really quickly you know shutter lag is minimum so good performance in the camera department as well but the overall software performance is really cool here it's really fast the switching between apps is really really fast and because of the 6 GB of RAM it really keeps the apps in memory so even if you go to an app uh, you know that you loaded um, you know a while ago it will have that in memory as well so that's the best thing about this device the 6 GB RAM gives it the freedom to have apps in the memory and makes it more quicker in a way and then you know it's it's a pretty basic stuff here but it's really fast and i really like this device how it uh you know works and how it feels and with the snapdragon 821 processor it really flies and you know everything is just good about this device the fingerprint scanner is fast just take a look at it how fast is it it's like it's like instant just no delay at all so that's about it that was the uh, the basic uh, software walkthrough on oneplus 3d if you have any questions let me know in the comments i have a lot more videos coming up and i'll try to include your answers in those videos and that's about it in this video guys i'll catch you up in the next video till then take care bye bye